what is full stack web development right so there are three basically i mean keywords in this sentence uh, full stack web and development so we'll we'll go through the uh, entire process of how to become full stack development what are what things are involved in full stack develop, full stack web development and all so very first thing i mean let's begin with the general question like what is full stack web development so basically anytime we open a desktop browser or mobile browser right and we type any website name uh, so so whatever we see uh, very first for example let's say google.com right so whatever interface we are seeing right so developing this kind of interface comes under uh, so from here to on uh, from here to whatever we search here for example react js right and we are seeing some result on the screen so from that journey to this journey like we come to we go to any website we search for something and we get the result so in this entire process whatever is involved right whatever engineering is involved everything comes under the uh, full stack web engineering so uh so it's primary so full stack web developers are primarily responsible for uh, from designing any web application or website from there towards whatever data or information the user is asking right so provide that data or that information back to user so all these things comes under the full stack web uh, full stack web development so now to to provide this kind of information or this kind of data to the user right we also need to save this information first so right from uh, displaying this kind of information storing this information in somewhere in the cloud or somewhere in the server right all these things comes under full stack uh, web development so we'll see like what all things are involved in that so so very first thing like developing a new web uh, web design projects by coordinating with clients or business leaders so as an engineer uh, you will be consulted by or you will be asked for help from clients clients are nothing but the people who need solution who will give us the requirements like you know i want to develop this and that kind of uh, project will you help me so whoever pays us and whoever gives us the requirement right, those are our clients so design is also i mean very very crucial thing in in the web development so let me ask one or two questions like uh, any news any any news uh, web app, right or website you are using can can you can someone name like which news uh, news web application they are using to see or to read the news of in day to day life okay et so let me search for et economic times okay i have opened this fine your story in shorts okay your story fine your story cool okay in shorts fine tech crunch okay yeah i mean you know uh, in a film uh, this should be fair enough okay so everyone has their own way of representing the same information or different information right so look at this uh, your story i mean it looks a little bit clean fonts are a little bit small okay in uh, the information is divided into two main columns look at here okay these guys are not allowing to see okay fine so here i mean see all we are seeing like just one one sentence i will tell you one more uh, one more website uh, by which i am impressed and i feel more comfortable while i'm reading uh, reading on this place so this is ft.com okay now you open this web app anytime i mean in night or during a day right 
your reading experience yeah. here will be a little bit better or niche compared to the normal websites we are seeing in india so uh, like like look at here like no one will more interested in reading one 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 sentences here but and that also with white background and all right but look at this experience look at this design there is a little bit better i mean something better than the normal way of representing the information right so very first thing is like designing the web project like how it will look how it will function okay how your end users will uh interact with the system this all things comes under uh, designing so one more example let me give you uh let's say you have an lic policy and you want to make payment right so you go to lic's official site and try to make payment uh payment you, you will be fed up like hundreds of information will be asked and the same information you, and the same payment right if you uh make on the paytm.com or other websites right like today's startups world basically within within a minute you will be able to complete the payment and you will get the email also so this is this is uh we can say this is an experience we want to give to our end user so it starts with like designing the web page so uh, basically entire project like how your end user will interact with the websites you will build uh, okay fine next thing is like designing and testing the functionality of web application using some development tools yeah so for testing also there are ready made tools like how my web application will look in uh, this kind of browser because let's say when you are developing a web application like flipkart or instagram right you can't tell your end user like boss you should have google chrome browser that to the latest version right that kind of power we do not have when we are you know developing the um, end user i mean general public facing web applications so it is very much required to make sure that your website right or web application runs properly in in almost all browsers so we are not saying like you know it should work in the web browser of 1990 but at least today's web browser i mean almost all web browser it should work properly without any problem otherwise it's a loss of business that's it ability to write code in html css and all this is right this will i mean this all things we will learn in uh upcoming weeks right these are nothing but the actual work that as a software engineer or as a web developer right we will do then provide the easy methodologies to integrate variety of content yes so in today's web applications right you will see uh, i mean there are almost all websites are mixture of all these things images audio video but there are uh content specific websites for example spotify gana.com sound.com right so those are audio uh, and some pod podcast websites also these are audio heavy websites you go to uh, tumblr flickr uh, pinterest these are images heavy website right so like there should be an easy way of you know uploading a lots of uh, content as well as i mean whenever our and customers access this content right it should be easy for them i mean you will not uh use instagram if it takes too much time to load a simple image right so all these things are also matter providing technical support for web dev deployment okay so this is this will learn in future like once the code is very i mean code is running very fine i mean the software is running very fine in your own computer right it should be available for general public also so how to deploy the code uh, yeah 
so coordinating with expert to provide top notch security yeah so i mean we can admit like not everything is our cup of tea right so whenever it comes to cyber security right so in almost all uh, big tech products right there are dedicated departments for cyber security but once they give us some suggestion right like in your website this should be managed in this way okay then we should follow the those uh, uh, security advices so you will not believe i will give you example like uh, just one second so i mean go through this one or two uh, first or second uh, news like this many so it's not the story of alibaba it's a story of every big tech companies like facebook instagram amazon our government's website right like tax tax uh, tax filing websites uh, etc so very first thing is like once the product is ready for public right or or even if it is let's say published then also like uh, security threat is like ongoing it's not like 100 meter race uh, you can't tell like my web application is 100% secure continuous process we have to improve uh, next thing is making use of variety of tools too yeah so this will also helpful right to monitor like from which country my customers are coming right and from which time zones they are coming so based on that you can make i mean so uh, you can make many decisions um, so these are the things like involved in uh, in full stack web engineering so in upcoming weeks right we will experience all of these things now coming to the um, now further let's say uh, drill down this full stack web development so this is divided into three main three main work like front end back end and full stack so initially i told right like i type something and i see some data here in any web application basically so displaying so there can be 100 ways to display the same information so how to you know how to craft the user experience like with what our users will see and how they will see so uh, defining that kind of thing comes under front end web development now uh, once user submits anything right for example you are you are visiting facebook.com and you submit the sign up form so that data should be stored somewhere and on demand that data should be you know available also so once the sign up process is completed and you go to login page and again you type the same id password indirectly you are requesting the same data right that you have filled before some minutes so storing the data at the same time you know make it available when the proper request come right that kind of work comes under backend backend development so and if you're doing all this work right then you are a full stack web engineer so you basically take the requirement uh, end to end like from displaying to store to manage to delete on the time as well for example in facebook or instagram you can also request like delete my all the data i don't want uh, my identity to be there on the platform so this kind of uh, thing i mean end to end when you when you handle end to end things right so that time you become full stack web engineers otherwise in market as of now you know the software developers are divided into this kind of roles like front end engineer back end engineer testing engineer uh, etc let me close this and then we'll move to okay Fine.
So here are the, uh, what we can say, the summary, like what, what the user sees right on, on the browser is that comes under the front end web developer. So front end web developer, basically if you are, uh, building POS, right. Or Android application or iPhone application, right. Indirectly you are front end engineers or front end developers. But when we, when we talk about specific field, right. Front end web developer or full stack web developer. So in that case, in front end development means uh, developing a form that or developing basically anything that can be rendered in web browser so, uh, bring the web designers design to life using html series yeah uh, there is also one there is also uh what you can say designer or one kind of role in software development called ux design so they basically develops like how a web page will look like what kind of color palettes will be used and how basically the data entry form will look like etc right so once they give us this information in either pdf or you know photoshop or ultra or tools like uh, this figma right then it is our responsibility to uh, create the pixel perfect uh, web application so this this is a tool like so there are so many what we can say similar tools available on internet uh let me show you like see this kind of okay one second or let me show deeper this will be better actually yeah so so they develop um the web uh, the web page right in this kind of tool now once we get this kind of tool right it is our responsibility to, to create the pixel perfect uh, web page right and ensure responsive design okay so doesn't matter like uh, from where your uh, user is you know accessing your web website your website should always fulfill the requirement of end user. So let's say we open flipkart.com here. So it looks good. Now let's say I, I am opening that in iPhone 4. Okay, smaller screen, uh, 100%. And let me refresh. So it looks properly, I mean, looks, like as per your um, as per your device right so imagine like displaying the uh, desktop web application within this much space you will not buy anything from flipkart that's a guarantee but like displaying the website as per the height and width of the device right uh, that's called responsive website and once your website is responsive, right, everyone will respect that and they will get a better user experience. Uh, next is backend developers, like what they do. So as I mentioned earlier, like, like whatever you submit or whatever uh, end user submits from web application, right, their job is to manage that and make it available whenever it is required. So creating and manage the database. This is, database is nothing but the tool or the place where we store the data. And full stack developers means everything in front end plus everything in back end. Okay, so this is the uh, overall responsibility as we will uh, proceed further, right? In this course, we will come to know with better uh, confidence and uh, knowledge. So, Let's move move ahead. And so there is a terminology like software development and web developers, right? Software developers or web developers. So web when we say web developers, right? Our responsibilities are narrowed down to uh, browser. I mean, whatever we see within the browser plus whatever we, we whatever data we submit from the browser right for example 
you click on the like button of someone's post in facebook that is also kind of submitting the data to back end right like on this particular post i have uh, clicked on the like button so you please uh, increment the like count so this kind of data i mean whatever data we submit from the browser uh, plus whatever we see in inside the uh, browser right all these things comes under web develop web developer or web developers responsibility but when we talk about software developers or software engineers right the concept is very i mean it's vast like i i will tell you so you you may have you know access hundreds of uh, uh desktop applications right if you are on a window then we install uh antivirus software then uh, word excel powerpoint right desktop applications apart from that uh, uh video players right so all i mean these are also softwares but developing that kind of software doesn't so so that does not comes under you know web development umbrella so but the, the software engineering software developers right they are like you give you give any requirement and they will build the solution so like water like in any you put it inside any uh, utensil right the shape will be like that only so i mean nothing much to what we can say here. Uh, uh not, it's not more related to web development but knowing the difference is good i mean so ability like web developers skills include ability to develop websites and web applications only and here it's wider basically you give anything they they will develop uh, architecture developers are not for creating and working with developer client side client server architecture so this client server architecture is nothing but we discussed right earlier like whatever we see within the browser that that calls client and whatever we submit from the browser right and somewhere it is getting saved so that even after 5 days we come back right we um uh, we see the data i mean what we have whatever we have submitted for example facebook post or instagram post or whatever but here architecture comes means uh providing solution clients by working on the client client based system so for example let me give you a specific example of this uh developing pos pos uh, what we can say workstation or solutions like point of sale you go to big bazaar or pantalons or wherever so they have specific uh devices specific software you know they interact with the fingers right so these are the client based systems or you can say specific systems right so that things doesn't come under the so that work and web development work are like different so development platform to application that for full is also other in windows internet explorer and all right so uh basically uh our world will be web browsers only nothing else right and on the other end right their world will be operating systems nothing else so that's a, a what we can say a very big difference easy to learn so when a web development is in it started with the tools and techniques are not complicated to learn requires an in-depth understanding of tools okay so i mean compared to software development web development is easy uh but just talk let's think about the tool that directly works with operating system so you will have to you know go to very lower level programming languages so in web development uh, we you know work on the higher level programming languages but in whenever you create a software that directly works with operating systems right so there you will have to think i mean 
too much like uh, like how how much ram will be there on on the machine on which my software will be installed many of us has you know uh, many of us has uh, have experienced one thing like when you sorted and drift your screen is not shared can you please share it oh is it is it visible now yes okay thanks okay oh my god till now it was not visible is it no no it's visible in between that connection is lost and after that okay system. then no problem so yeah i mean feel free to stop if uh, audio video or anything physically you know you feel it's not uh, coming there yeah so think think like uh, ram limitation hardware limitation what kind of processor will be there many of us have you know experience like in windows operating system when we install so many softwares right it hangs basically and then sometimes we have to forcefully restart the machine so that kind of things is not there in web development i mean no one you know cares like whether you are uh, opening their websites on uh, 2 gb ram laptop or 6 gb ram desktop or what yeah and coming to programming languages right so these are our what we can say best friends we will learn these things in upcoming weeks right html css javascript react and nodejs and here are the uh, this language is using which we can build the software right generic software yeah so career in full stack development so this data is taken from i think nokri.com like this shows like uh, what's the average salary of you know freshers as well as uh, based on your you know experience so basically this varies from time to time i mean it's not like a, a line written on this stone you know no one can change it it's not like that so it it varies from time to time and uh, company to company so if you go to well established company right very big company like tcs infosys wipro accenture cognizant and all their tech salary slabs are different if you go to mid size company there are the salary slab different in those kind of company if you go to uh hyper product based companies right like this oracle this one right so there also the salary slab are different and in startup right so no one can imagine so startup is running in that kind of you know way in india now so yeah let's not focus more on the salary part now i mean let's focus on the learning and to do these things right we will have time once the learning is finished now yeah so skills require for front end back end and database so all these three things right combine if we combine all these three things it makes us the full stack web engineer right so any problem occurred in in a product we will be you know we will be able to answer not just answer but give the what we can say proper solution also so these are the things like html css and javascript those things comes under front end and uh the course will start i think with front end only uh in upcoming weeks then it comes to back end like once the once we submit the data it should be saved properly uh, and securely also like i should not be able to see like what you are chatting with anyone on facebook or basically any website not only facebook right and that's a back end responsibility of back end and database is right like database is uh, have their own way of storing the data okay so we need to learn all these three things to become a full stack web engineer so this we will also learn 
in in upcoming weeks basically all these things not all this uh html css javascript will be there node.js will be there python and php won't be there so to do a back-end engineering work right we need at least one programming language so these are the possible programming languages like node python and php there are hundreds others also for example java then golang then c sharp then uh, ruby on rails etc but we will go with the node.js okay and why we will go with that that will also cover in the uh, next content okay same with the databases this one right oracle is one of the we can say powerful database but it also comes with the cost like too much expensive also uh, mysql is open source okay we can use it freely and again mongodb is not open source like for that also we need to pay okay so let I basically if you don't get anything right in these skills or these icons you don't need to worry because this is just a theoretical introduction uh, in upcoming weeks right when the actual session will start that time you will get the chance to work and create uh, something amazing on that okay so again these things are just what we can say explain what is that now okay so one more thing so uh, frameworks right so i will tell i will tell a small example like what are the frameworks so assume like uh, uh, you are the, you have to go in war okay and you have to you know you have to write a chariot so which kind of and and let's say all are given a normal chariot only right uh, and you have option to use this kind of chariot right so which one you will choose normal chariot or this kind of bahubali's no not bahubali balal dev's chariot even we don't like balal dev because he was villain the only thing we like here is this chariot like super super uh, technical right so which one we will choose normal one or this one yeah balal one yeah i got the answer from Shiyam, okay, okay. We have people who will go with the normal one also. Great to know that. Yeah. Okay. So the thing is, like, even to do an ordinary work, right? We need a. If we have extraordinary tools, right? That will give us another kind of feeling only. But software engineering or writing code is not the ordinary work the lots of things are in, involved in that so you will learn these things but let's say some extraordinary tools are given to us that solves lots of problem okay and makes our life easy so let's say if and and we feel more powerful with that tool so obvious we will go with the powerful tool only uh again there are factors also like if that tool is too much expensive right and we don't have budget then we will have to uh, then we will have to you know uh, choose the normal tool only so let, let me give you a small example by that you will understand uh, very quickly okay so let's say we need to build one uh dashboards with lots of charts okay and uh variety of charts not like just line chart okay there are lots of types there are i mean you can't imagine let let me show okay this this kind of charts okay and believe me to build this kind of chart if you use this library right high charts your job will be completed within one hour or two hour maximum okay and at the same time we have one more library called t3 charts this is open source okay here also you can build lot i mean whatever charts you want to basically 
generate okay so examples okay so we have it so this is open source library d3 charts now i will tell you to learn d3 you need to invest lots of time there is an assume like uh, there is nothing ready made available nothing like you know ready made solution you feed some data and output is ready boom nothing like that you will have to invest lots of time to build you know one chart and here to build any kind of chart right it's a uh, assume like it's it's cup of tea for anyone i mean anyone can just spend two hours of learning and can build so where you will go high chart or d3 let's see a little bit you know comments from our students okay high chart high chart high chart high chart okay high chart high chart okay open source is good okay very good diverse uh, opinions are always welcome so open source is good if affordable then high chart okay who is this brushan brushan patel uh, very good thinking if it's affordable then high charts okay okay let's uh, okay charts.js okay very good someone is suggesting something better yes charts.js okay there is fan following for that also d3 chart okay fine perfect so yeah so what factors affects the affects are uh, the pricing should be you know uh, affordable so here per developer i think i think price is more than 450 dollar okay and this one comes at free of free of cost okay so if company is ready to pay right then obviously this should be the first choice otherwise d3 is the best right so but uh here whatever tools and framework or libraries we have mentioned right all of them are uh open source they are available at no cost so lots of problem we face if we go without this library right those problems are already solved and there are thousands of developer around the world who you know manage these libraries so as operating system upgrades right then browsers also upgrades there are there are 100 percent chances that uh, according to those changes right changes should be made within this libraries also so those kind of you know uh, problems are already solved i mean even if let's say i am going to face that problem after four months and that too unknowingly so those kind of problems are also solved in frameworks and library that's a uh, we can say truly a kind of blessings only so yeah so framework this framework or this kind of libraries right make our life easy okay so it's 846 i think uh, uh do we uh should we take a break of five minutes if i mean almost all are you know fine then we'll take a break of five minutes and then we will come back yeah okay i mean Azruddin, right? I like that reply. No, we don't need the break. Okay, someone is telling 10 minutes after 9. That will be too much. After 9 will be too much. We have. So, again, I mean, don't worry about this content. So, these are just the introduction. Okay. Uh, yeah, and uh, we will have, you know, practical knowledge on, on each of these things after uh, around a week or within this week also just 10 minutes what about web3 yeah so web3 will be covered i mean once so there was very nice image like this so assume like web3 is at uh, staircase i mean step number five or six before that uh, we need to you know 
make things strong, like problem solving, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, that kind of thing. So okay, I see what, I mean one message like about Web3, right? So I had joined for Web3 technology. Could you elaborate what one thing is? Yeah, so uh, guys, this is uh, just first class. So about Web3, right? It will definitely come. So, but again, I mean, not today. So uh, the the curriculum, right? In, in, in curriculum, it is mentioned like, what is the sequence of, uh, you know, front end, back end and Web3. So obviously, I mean, you will get to learn about Web3 technologies, but not now, I mean, okay, okay, share your screen. Yeah, I, I will share screen within one or two minutes. Uh, one, one instruction, please ask your questions in Q&A section. Uh, chats just use for the responding the instructor. And uh, no one of your questions, right, will be go unanswered. So even if we will not have time today, right, uh, they will be answered because these questions are, these questions will be there in this session only. I mean, it won't be, you know, deleted or cleared after this session is over. So even if uh, we don't get time to address each question, right, so don't worry. I mean, they will be answer okay typically so let's i will take just one or two questions and then we will move towards uh, the content okay so the first question is like typically who decides the look and feel of the website when is it is designed in terms of sections fonts etc so this is a very good question uh, just one second let me share my screen okay let me know guys if uh, i mean once it is visible okay yeah okay thank you raj thank you Anubo and Moj. okay so there is lot of engineering and thinking process uh, uh, behind you know design i mean not just a font or color so color let, let me give you one nice example text text information okay not this text. okay this one so whoever comes on your web application right it's not necessary like everyone will be uh, too much comfortable or let's say everyone will be comfortable with this font size okay so many many web applications uh, give us support to either decrease or increase the fonts uh, within some limitation i mean i'm not saying like you can increase font to 100 pixel or too much uh, big size but they provide you this kind of uh, functionality even some mm, uh, one more example let me give you so even let's say uh, video tutorial sites right like um, you pay some amount so paid courses basically so there also what if the uh, user or, or your end user or let's say students right is not hearing properly there are some deficiencies right so for them they put captions in video as well as the entire paragraph right i mean whatever an instructor is saying within the video tutorial right they write the same thing in paragraph by paragraph along with the title right with so and so minute to so and so second i mean with this from this minute to this minute uh we are discussing this thing so they mention in paragraph so it's all about like how what kind of experience we want to give to our end user and the person who decide uh that thing right are called ux designer okay so ux designer or ux engineer right 
so they basically you know actually uh, decide like how the flow will happen in in your website or uh, native application i mean yeah mobile applications also so let's begin i mean let's uh, resume our main content so these are like the frameworks or tools libraries that makes our life easy okay uh, not only the repetitive work but they also you know uh, handle security threats up to some up to some extent i'm not saying if you use this kind of library or framework right then your web application will be 100% secure but yeah up to some extent they will be secure uh, okay fine now as i said in the beginning of uh, this session right in my introduction like i was a lamp stack engineer uh, linux uh, apache php and mysql i was using right so this was the old web stack right old technology so stack means nothing but the combination of multiple technologies you use to build a particular web application okay so this one become old so the benefit of php over other technologies is you will get uh, job very easily but there is a struggle to you know uh, grow grow within you can say ctc wise or basically in all angles right but if you move towards javascript right so there are uh, i mean obvious react is in top trend now but javascript is also you know uh, center of attraction because uh, you don't need to learn different languages for client as well as server so you learn the syntax of one programming language and it is sufficient uh, for server side programming as well as client side programming so in javascript ecosystem right so two main what we can say uh, full stack uh, trends are mean engineering so where uh, we use angular js node js express and mongodb and another one is the mon stack where instead of angular we use the react js that's it but react is in top trend now i mean you may have heard like you know uh, react is you know, going ahead of angular js so there are lots of reasons behind that also but as of now not, let's not discuss uh, and move towards the next content like why mon stack is popular uh, among the full stack engineers so i mean with less amount of time right you can produce more output that's the one thing and there are other advantages also but once you will start uh, developing this kind of applications end to end right for example e-commerce application from logging to browsing the different products to uh, filtering out products based on some criteria like uh, color price range availability or whatever right from that to you know generating reports and all the all of these things right? once you will start developing these things right you will come to know like uh, why it's you know what we can say more popular or why people are adopting that so earlier it was like uh, for not earlier now also so for front end you have to spend a lot of time to learn this html css javascript react etc and and for back end right let's say you are not using nodejs you are using python or java or some other programming language other than nodejs so your learning curve will be different there so now these are uh, two different uh, environments your mind will be changed once you come to front end and once you uh go to back end okay so entire context will be changed design patterns the way of writing code syntax uh, etc that's not a problem in case of mon stack and not here also up to some extent in main stack so the mon stack is popular okay just give me one minute 
okay why should you okay what should you learn and in what sequence yeah so sequence is always i mean more and more important basically you learn any engineering work right try right? for example uh creating a furniture from marble or wood right so if you are learning that there also sequences uh, what we can say there also sequence matters basically right if you if we don't follow sequence right it costs us uh i mean can't imagine like what it will cost so yeah so very first thing is pro uh, programming web with javascript so this you will learn in the next week itself i mean from next week itself this course will be i mean javascript will be started so fundamentals of web browsers javascript and basic data structures and algorithms yeah so data structures and algorithm right these are the what we can say as long as you are in uh, not yet. as long as we are in the software development field right this data structures and algo and problem solving right uh, will not leave us and we should also not leave them otherwise doesn't matter like what fancy programming language or whatever powerful programming language we are using will not get the benefit out of that so even in 2022 right many good companies right product based companies ask for this ds and algo and and problem solving in initial rounds if you are good in that then if the relevant technology right for which the hiring is going on if you are you know a little bit here or there they will uh, they will not consider that but if if we are not good here right ds i'll go and problem solving it can cost us the rejection so that's the thing then after learning javascript we'll be move on the front end it is nothing but the html css okay and then again react js okay so front end will be nothing but uh, designing the interface like what we can see within the browser so that will be uh, that will be developed by html css in javascript okay uh, very short and one line introduction of these three things so html you can consider your any favorite uh, actor without actor or actress without uh, makeup okay so how it looks css is nothing but the beautification okay so add uh, makeup on him or her and the look should be like super like you see the actor and actress in the advertisement of any jewelry or 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 in any events right like uh, award show etc and javascript is nothing by nothing but uh, putting action in action in that character so uh, you love rithik roshan more when he is dancing right so but so one photo without makeup one photo with lots of makeup not lots of but proper makeup so it will look definitely great and another photo or video with you know dance so putting some action within your web page is accomplished by javascript so these are the three things i mean without any one right uh, your solution is nothing basically at facebook you you will not love facebook if you scroll the web page and you are not getting more and more content right you will not love facebook if you click on the like button and like count is not increased or uh, you submit some comment and that comment is basically not staying there right you will uninstall basically so functionality is super duper uh, essential part of any any web application then back end right so this module will cover sql node js so node js is one programming language express js is a uh, framework and microservices the mongodb is again database where you will store the data right uh, and microservices again like how we deploy our web application so all these things you will learn once 
this two will be uh, covered right because to uh, to store data somewhere and to retrieve data and display in some report right very first thing you need is to build some interface from where this data will be submitted and that you will learn in this one front end development so and again system designing means the uh, end to end uh, what we can say making plan and uh, considering the edge cases test cases of end to end design right that comes under system designing then blockchain technology so someone was asking right like they came here for uh, web3 when it will start or there was some similar question about that so here comes your web3 uh, what we can say technology so once let's say you have knowledge of storing data into one singular place right then it makes sense uh, to learn like how to store the same information in a distributed network so that's all of, that is all about like blockchain technology right uh, the same data will be stored at multiple places and uh, no one can you know manipulate or hack uh, data and change uh, with some bad what we can say intention so in last uh, web3 will come into the picture okay uh, and to know web3 all of uh, about things are mandatory i mean it's uh, it's like i i i can't enter in uh, i can't enter in standard 9 uh, it's like if i want to enter in standard 9 or 10 i will have to complete 1 to 8 or 1 to 9 that kind of thing is applicable here so yeah and okay so how to get better at learning a programming language so uh, this is a generic question guys like it's not like uh, how to get better at uh, node.js programming language is different from how to get better at php so these rules right whatever we will uh, follow i mean whatever we will discuss right is applicable for any programming language not just one okay so make your fundamentals clear so i will give you a very interesting example uh, let's say you are given uh, woods okay i mean 50 foot or 100 foot wood and you have planned to uh, create one furniture right so and we all know right like once it is cut right once you put a cutter machine on that you can't join it as as it was before so you have to measure it twice thrice okay if you have even a one percent of doubt okay and consider like this wood is super super costly okay so now you want to cut that so you will measure twice thrice right even if you have one percent of doubt uh, you will get it cleared from someone because otherwise if you cut from wrong measurement right you will have to pay the bill if that kind of situation is there so you will measure twice thrice and then you will cut right so same thing is applicable here uh, if your fundamentals are not clear right and you jump on any programming language or building on building the solution right directly you start decoding this is one of the by the way this is one of the uh, most common reason why candidates you know are rejected from the com from the interview like some problem is given to them and they directly uh, start on the coding so if, if your fundamentals are clear right you you will have a lots of benefit like how to approach towards the solution how to build solution and not like just build solution not like that uh, build the efficient solution with less cost fast and solution that sustains for a longer period of time so in in fundamentals right uh, just one minute 
what comes uh, what is covered under fundamental is like uh, data structures uh, syntax syntax of the programming language right uh, that actually we cannot tell it i mean super critical because syntax you can learn uh, within few days also if you switch the programming language but if your data structures right then uh, data structures and problem solving is good right then switching language is also not a problem and learning a particular language right i mean going deep inside that language is also not a problem so there are you pick any book okay of any programming language there will be lots of chapters right chapter 1 2 3 4 and so on so initial chapters will be always on fundamentals like how to write loops how to write uh, basically syntax of everything right so that if you learn that properly right you will write efficient code so if you just learn one two three four five chapters and directly start on the chapter number 15 or 12 right then even if you will be able to write solution right there are 99.99 percent chance that that solution will uh, is not basically efficient okay you could do better actually so fundamentals are clear and fundamentals are the very first thing and what i suggest right never compromise on fundamentals like when are clearing the fundamentals right uh, you should not imagine like okay this might be work like this okay i imagine like that i assume like that and i move ahead uh, it doesn't work in that way right so even during the entire course right next 6 7 months uh, don't make assumption and move ahead okay just note it down and get your doubts clear yeah because assumption sometimes uh, cost a uh, cost more okay learn by doing and practicing so this is like um, again i mean even if you are uh, learning some other thing right not just uh, this program some other things like violin guitar or or some basically any other art right so you will have to practice and during practice it is possible that you make very big you make mistakes you make very big mistakes you break things and you break basically lots of things but uh, it will happen only once if you will not make mistake you will not learn right so uh, and always this practice starts with a small small problem so tomorrow and day after tomorrow we have classes right where we will uh not tomorrow i think day after tomorrow onwards whatever classes we have right so there we will write small small code i mean always practice starts with small code and then make it larger then add some more stuff into that then make it larger and slowly slowly enhance the entire system right so it works in this way and then you will have the confidence even if you let's say you uh, you pick you pick the one of the best tech products in the world today okay for example google or let's say facebook okay so even their engineers also can't give the entire solution in one shot it always starts with solving a smaller problem then around that smaller problem solve the bigger problem and then again solve the bigger problem than previous one and then and then combine or merge all these things and uh, then at the end the bigger solution comes into the picture right so it's not like a 100 meter race or 200 meter race it's like a marathon okay dry code by hand Okay, one thing. Okay, so learn fundamentals. Okay, dry code by hand. So we will also learn this once our programming will be started. Right. So your program can be of uh, five lines, or or can or, or it can be of hundred lines or five hundred lines or millions of lines. Okay. So basically, what dry code by hand uh, suggests is like before. Uh, your computer gives you the output right uh, you should be in a position to tell the output and not just telling 
telling tell the perfect output and how it basically runs line by line and on each line what is the status of uh, the system okay that you should be able to demonstrate on paper so once you will have that kind of uh, practice right by looking at code only you will be able to tell like boss here this code will not work as per our expectation on so and so line number or so and so portion of the code uh, is the main reason of you know causing the problem so that kind of ability or that kind of efficiency efficiency will come but for that we will have to start the uh, dry code okay this this we have to do this from very small problem first and then slowly enhance uh, problem solving attitude yeah so this one will be required i mean if you are fresher or you are uh, chief technology officer of any company or any product right this is the main essential things so if you have this right then uh, tools or whatever i mean tools or whatever other facility right that will become secondary if you don't have problem solving attitude right or if we can't focus on that thing then even if we will have even if we will have better resources right um we won't be get you know the maximum output of that so there are but these all things we will you know these are like just uh, theoretical things it's not like just theoretical but they have you know practical uh, what we can say they have uh, practical exercises as well that we will do in upcoming session so this is just a beginning guys if you uh get bored or if you think right like how this might be done i don't know this about i don't know about this i don't know that don't worry at all uh this all things will be covered practically and not just one exercise we will have more exercises on that okay so clearly define the problems agree on the process this all things again you will learn like agree on the process means like even if i am so let's okay let me give you a funny example of this so uh, let's say in a movie uh, what we can shooting right if if hero agrees if hero thinks like he will work on his own conditions and he will not obey the rules of the entire crew right then i think picture won't have picture won't be completed only i mean that project will be flopped from hero to villain to actor i mean actor side actor whatever right all the all the team members basically agree on some set of rules like we all will work in this manner or this way then and only the entire project will be completed otherwise i mean nobody knows like when uh, that ship will be sinked clearly define the problem it is like exactly tell and tell exactly like what is required right so there is a nice job in in software engineering world like uh, working on the water and uh, software uh, i mean developing the software right both are easy once the uh, requirement is freezed i mean water and the requirement if they are freezed then yeah nothing is like hard if i tell you today like build this thing tomorrow i change my mind day after tomorrow again i will change my mind no matter like how good uh, a company is paying you you will leave that place focus on the solution so all this thing and this one right take breaks obvious like this you may have experienced like if you get bored of you know any uh, subject or uh, while study also right you take a small break and that actually helps that helps us you know understanding the problem with a different angle so sometimes you solve the problem you try to find the mistake uh, you spend a lot of time in that for example hour or more than that but once you come back after some small break tea or whatever right then you will find the exact place that is causing the problem right within a minute or very short period of time so these are the things like a problem solving attitude i mean if we follow this right like 
it's not guaranteed like from day one only you will be able to solve the bigger problem within a minute or something but as the practices will increase right uh, definitely i mean that skill uh, that skills gets developed following the best practices so all these things are related to practical even if we will um, discuss this thing right i mean without without the practical example it won't make much sense i mean you will get more and more bored so but once we will start coding right all these things will i mean these are the good practices to follow and if everyone follows the same practice right then believe like i mean even if your code becomes a super super bigger right i mean or heavy right then also everyone will be able to work without any problem i mean finding the flow of the you know, data within the system or how the things are working right everything will be you know, smooth i mean to digest to get the information and one more thing like in in software development world right it is said like the code you are writing today right you are not writing for yourself you are writing for someone who will join when you will leave right so one thing is that so uh, or let's say any new team member comes in your team right and your code is super i mean totally messed right it is possible that people who are doing work within 2 hour 3 hour right they have to spend a day also sometime so this uh, practice is right we will uh, what we can say cover when we will uh, doing things practically okay so no harm into that and again this is time management so yes i mean um, whenever i mean requirements are given to us right so very i mean important questions and very important answer also is like within how much time this problem will be solved so uh, to i mean after years of experience also it's not like people get master into that mistakes always happen but with some with some things in mind right like if we follow that right then we get better at time management so uh, let me give you a very practical example so before i mean few months like our income tax website was uh, redesigned right and it was about to uh, what we can say i mean it was about to become available for public and some problem arises and that date was postponed so this happens like you give deadline to your manager your manager give that timeline to his manager and then that chain goes to the ceo of the company and uh, investor of the company right and then also and then after this much be planning and all again timelines are required to be postponed so this happens i mean but if you follow some proper things right there are the chances of missing timelines right gets decreased so it's like planning like the best way to develop planning skill is to consistently use the calendar tool okay simply plan yeah so in generally in uh, software development world right everyone uh, follows their calendar i mean like if you ask for appointment right to some developers they will it is there are chances like they will tell let me look at my calendar and find out like at, at what time i am free and and so on there are focus time for every i mean every developer has their has their own focus time during the 10 days generally over meetings and like the shop and basically anything so this is my focus time i will work i will focus on development work only 
during this time i won't be you know spending time on other activities so basically plan uh, so if you have some tool right then you can tell like uh, on this date i am free for two hours on this date i am free for so and so time right so planning is super uh, what we can say essential and based on that you can give uh, a timeline to what we can say your manager or your senior any ad hoc request come right then also you can give you know better timeline if you have if you have your planning i mean in advance decision making and prioritization matrix is probably the best track to learning prioritization the matrix sequence arranging tasks in one of the four things right okay so this is also again i mean once you will what we can say once you have lots of work right that time you will be able to you know understand this like if something breaks within your software like then it becomes very urgent okay so so there are what we can say importance level of each task okay like this is priority 1 this is priority 2 this is priority 3 someone is let us some task is on critical priority some task has a priority status is equal to fire fire means like very big loss is happening within our system so how you prioritize that task? so based on priority you will uh what we can say based on priority and urgency you will start the work you will entertain that task otherwise i mean it is possible that you spend lot of time on doing work that is not much impactful within your team right so this is all about that uh, sharing your work and building your network okay So one of the best way to understand the programming is really is quickly by sharing your work over and getting feedback. Okay, so this kind of thing. Okay, so this is uh, I mean this is not uh, what we can say uh, applicable to student. This is also applicable to whoever I mean who writes the code. That's it. So once you uh, Uh, what we can say once you write something right once you build something mostly we get satisfaction once we get the output right but getting feedback i mean the getting feedback on the approach right like with which approach this output is achieved so that getting feedback is more important so uh, it's not uh, for us it's for everyone i mean super successful cricketer or any sport person or anyone getting feedback is more and more important so here right in upcoming 6 uh, months right whatever code we build or whatever exercise are given from here and you write the solution for that exercise right um getting feedback is more important so that even if you are getting the right output right result with uh, wrong approach or let's say that your approach requires a little bit of improvement right so that will help you i mean not only during the class i mean during this uh, course but after that also and if you can program us will make the better program quickly yeah so if you teach someone right like then basically that things become more and more clear in your mind uh you can call yourself to yeah so right and if you teach the same thing again and again uh the way of representing information the way of teaching right it will be improved because after some uh experience only right you i mean you by yourself uh will get hints like if okay let's say if i uh, teach this thing in this way it will become more you know comfortable for my students and it's not like don't consider like my students if even if you share your uh, learning right with your colleagues also 
uh, both will be benefited not just your the not just the other person okay uh, okay so this is about sharing the work and you can also participate in source projects okay so here right so you so i think tomorrow only we'll discuss about the lots of open source projects right which are you know earning earning billions of dollars per month or per year right for example mysql react.js angular.js all these projects are uh, open source uh, linux operating system right is also open source so on which lots of you know servers are running uh, in internet so whenever you participate in open source projects right means contributing into that so now fixing a um, technical bug or fixing a minor typo uh, within the documentation also right so all these projects are available on uh, github uh, and you can contribute to that like fixing a technological bug or fixing or, or correcting the type of mistakes or basically whatever things in the documentation right so to do that also there are a uh, set of guidelines that we have to follow so that thing was covered earlier i guess uh, one second uh, yeah agree on the process this one right yeah. under problem solving method so agree on the process so there are rules of rules defined by uh, what we can say the community or the team right so even if you want to suggest some solution that is super critical right i mean super important then also there are set of rules that we have to follow and so that basically results kind of team where everyone's thought process right is i mean everyone's thought process is in the same direction so so that helps like it's a we can say it is it is a i mean super valuable assets of the company uh, even if let's say 10 uh, very good engineers are there in the team right from super companies like google facebook but their thought process is not in one direction right then uh, basically company will not get the output that it is expecting from expecting by hiring uh, this intelligent people so team team what we can say stay staying on the rules you know that defined by team or community is super important okay so you can participate in this open source projects on github okay uh, in that way also your uh, what we can say network in the corporate will be you know expanded uh, after that there is also one one more place like meetup okay so meetup you can search here like uh, okay so okay i don't think how to search here so react is meetup in bangalore so like this so you will see like right same way for every city they i mean almost all city there is a meetup group so in this way also your network will be expanded and you don't okay yeah and getting help from community right so check overflow is one of the best place uh, to ask your doubts okay and let's say if you are facing any technical issue right then you can uh, put that technical issue with full details on github also i mean there also you then you will get the answer from the core community member directly okay learn reddit's learn programming super okay super what is this i okay so this is also again a what we can say a community driven place where we post our doubts and people will solve 
yeah, beginners, okay, beginners do this mistake by in future when they need to ask for help. Yeah, so I mean, correct. So even let's say, uh, even experienced engineers, right? They start, they pick something new. For example, I am a React JS engineer today, okay? And let's say tomorrow, uh, or let's say I, I, I started learning the go js lang sorry go lang okay that is old and its community is also what we can say a bigger now but if i if i what we can say if there is some problem right in that let's say from installation itself installation is not working in my pc this is a very very basic problem so even if i feel shy or i will think like oh what people will think about me this guy has Eight, 10 years of experience and don't know how to install so if that kind of feeling we will develop in mind right like then then done i mean so we will not be able to move ahead or even if we proceed right we even if we make progress uh, it, it will consume too much time so it's like whenever we are stopped and in 30 40 minutes we are not able to get answer or we are not able to solve the problem right we should definitely uh, take help from what we can say this kind of places step overflow this reddit and there could be more also like uh, i don't know about this this is one of the one of the best place hash node okay blogging community for developers and people even here also you can ask for uh, suggestions and uh, advising okay so and there is one more picture. they don't do something like this yes so this kind of places are there and people have i mean you never know I, this is based on my experience i'm saying like uh, you it is possible that person who helps you right you may heard his or her country's name first time in your life so don't hesitate basically and and one more thing yeah your your doubts right your your questions will save time of uh, future future engineers i mean engineers who will learn in future at right? the same thing if they also face the same problem and if they found your your question or your problem on stake or or whatever they will say thank you to you indirectly right so it doesn't matter you are silly questions also will yeah it will help in the long run okay fine so during this course right if you have any problem or um, if you face any technical issue right we are always here to help you now yeah these are the tools so yeah do one thing like this will be this both right installing vs code and creating the uh, account on github so both are free i mean you don't need to pay a single thing single penny uh, do this thing in uh, your computer that will be useful in upcoming sessions so if you are on windows machine right then that, just click on this one windows okay if you are using uh, ubuntu or linux right then just click here that's it and if you are on macbook right then here so thing is that second thing is like uh, creating the account on github okay so yeah uh, it's just uh, i mean five minute work that's it and not more than that so yeah so this will become kind of uh, prerequisites for upcoming sessions so that's all uh, guys uh, let's i mean that's all from my side if you have any questions right then uh, just put in q and a uh, okay so we'll try to uh answer questions i mean as much as possible uh but if it 
it's not answered right then definitely you will get uh, answered within one or two days yeah so blockchain syllabus covered blockchain syllabus covered will be only basic or in advance also what solidity is there so uh, i will be covering on the front end part as of now so blockchain related questions right will be answered by the alma better team okay there are comments also we will try to answer as per the industry standard okay fine so i think that question is answered okay so let's ignore the answered question okay this is unanswered sir please give me link of this pdf yeah this will be shared right this will be shared by alma better team uh, okay you will have access to video recording as well as uh, uh, this uh, this content okay okay again this is answer 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 one answer how to make github profile attractive okay so let yeah appreciate it thank you so uh, let's begin with creating profile okay and uh, slowly you know adding the uh, whatever problems we solve right so no one will ex uh, expect right expect like you should have a super duper uh, repositories and projects in your github account from day one and uh, think like if you will add that kind of projects in one shot right uh, you will be i mean uh the viewer of your github profile will understand like this is a copy paste work so build step by step and that will help like in upcoming sessions right when we will give the exercises from here right like solve these solve small small problem try to upload that into your github profile and profile and that will become uh and slowly your profile will become what we can say attractive or developer friendly right does the visual code web id works or is enough for coding yes it's enough it's not only enough for coding it will give you uh, other power as well for example when i mean this we will cover in a particular session of uh, visual studio in this week itself uh but uh, id right will so so if if there is no id right you will have to uh, do 10 different works in 10 different places but id will solve your all the problems so vs code is enough i mean you can 100% rely on that i use chrome os oh okay okay so I have to use some web based ide okay yeah so web based ids are not that much developed right now and uh, i'm talking about the free ids okay there is one id by the way uh code sandbox okay code sandbox so yeah definitely it has its own learning curve okay so whenever you create a sandbox it will ask like reactjs sandbox or vanilla sandbox or whatever so this kind of things are there but you will need a lot of time to learn that so i will suggest like if uh, attend this session uh, with your tablet okay no problem but yeah for practicing you will if if there is a vs code id it is better because web has its own limitation like it will give you let me open one thing so you get the idea so it will give you the vs code kind of uh, feeling okay whatever you write here uh, oh my god that is index.html src index.js okay okay so it will give you the feeling of vs code but uh, it is almost same but again i mean if you start from vs code from scratch right it will be good as my understanding 
Okay, why did my question disappear? Anyway, which plugin should be installed in VS Code? Okay, so plugins, right? So we will cover this also in the VS Code session. As of now, the installation is, I mean, enough. Okay. Uh, Mark is, okay, this is also answered. Okay, fine. Okay, anything else? Any any other questions? Is anyone's question unanswered here? Okay, does the Visual Code ID? Okay, uh, actually, yeah, this question is answered. But how to mark it? Mark it as an answered. I you know can anyone from Alma Better Team help me? So the here yeah, so and then the. Uh... Right hand side, you can see mark it answered or unanswered is there. You can over it. Okay, got it. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Vivanshu. Uh, yeah, I think then is there any website where we can practice code? Yes, yes. there are lots of websites. Okay, where we can practice JavaScript uh, as well as Node.js as well as uh, HTML, CSS, and uh, backend, right? Like uh, Node.js and all, and, and frameworks by the way, frameworks like React.js and uh, etc. So one thing is Code Sandbox. You can Google like alternatives of Code Sandbox. Uh, there are two or three. Uh, one of them was like uh, paid, but remaining are I mean free. So I mean most famous thing as of now is Code Sandbox. Even I gave the example of high charts, right? So how to integrate high charts in React.js, okay, and how to pass the required info, I mean, parameters to build particular type of chart. That kind of tutorial they give in uh, this one only, code sandbox only. There is one more website called Code Pen. Yes, but believe me, like if once you will uh, understand or once you will be habit once you are habituated with this website right code sandbox uh, you will not leave i mean you won't go to other platforms there is other website called js fidel so there are lots of kind of i mean there are lots of uh, fidel like this js fidel and there there are other where you can write html css javascript but here like again you write html code here css here some JavaScript here and that's it. But here you can create literally lots of JavaScript files, CSS file, etc. So it will be again useful when you have lots of uh, what we can say code, right? Then let's say you want to segregate them into different different files to make it more maintainable. Code Sandbox will be better. I mean, it's good. I mean, you start with this one. If you don't uh, feel comfortable or don't get confidence, right, then you can explore. I mean, no, I'm into that. Is VS Code, it's freeware. Okay, license, VS Code is freeware. And we should all, you know, <laughs> thanks to Microsoft. You will understand, like, once you will start using the VS Code, right, you will understand. Graduation is compulsory for all my ex. so this question will be answered by all my ex member only it's from prashant jadav we'll use trial version is there website is there any is there any website where we can practice code okay so this is answered okay now or we'll use trial version so i didn't get this question like ranjan singh Okay, yeah, so I got it like, again, okay. VS Code is completely free. We don't need to pay anything. Okay, move towards Sriyan Srivastava's question. Would you also be explaining on how to host a static website to basic JavaScript on Git? Yeah, so if time will permit, uh, we will definitely, uh, uh, yeah, learn like how to, host the websites with HTML, CSS, and vanilla JavaScript. 
as well as HTML, CSS, and React, like how to host that book. So, uh, I mean, think like if you learn the Git and GitHub properly, right? Uh, then deploy and put your code on GitHub, right? Then deploying it on a free website like Netlify and uh, Heroku, right? It's like a, I mean, it's a game of 30 minutes. That's it. So definitely we will learn. I mean, no problem. So it's better like in, if in your resume you have link of code as well as the demo of particular project uh, along with like what you learn from that project, right? If these things are there, then it's a super asset. I mean, it will generate a good impression. So we'll definitely learn that, no problem. Any good Web3 tutorial YouTube channel according to you sir so again i mean i am not a web3 guy but yeah these questions will be answered by alma better team but what i will suggest is uh, make your fundamentals clear first like html css javascript and all things clear first and then you can move towards web3 okay if you know uh, if you already know all these things and uh you will start web3 then it's fine but if you run with the flow right it will be beneficial in further classes i okay, what would you explain okay so let me answer this question from sri and sri Vastava. is there any website where we can attempt JavaScript? we can attempt javascript quizzes yeah so here uh okay quizzes right online javascript quiz we'll get back to you on this so uh, we'll answer this later i mean by tomorrow or day after tomorrow as you mentioned earlier if we use code sandbox or code pen would it make a difference in our learning compared to vs code definitely not if you write in VS Code or you write in Code Sandbox, right? The main thing is uh, how well you understand the things. So the same amount of code you will have to write. So what Code Sandbox gives us, right, is the configuration. Uh, like write your code and I will show you the output uh, side by side. Uh, but the same thing you will achieving vs code by installing plugins okay so that's the power of plugin in terms of what used particularly in the industry no so why people use code sandbox on all is to promote their product so let's say you build one library uh, that is uh, not dependent on a particular language for example chart so you will the chart you will use the chart in angular react vue or jquery also uh, or ember also okay so, but if you want to give demo, right? Like in Angular, you can use this chart library in this way. In React, you can use this way. In Ember.js, you can use it this way. In Java jQuery, this is the way, right? Then you should have some platform where, you know, people can see that, see the things working, right? Then only they will get confidence to buy your library. Otherwise, I mean, that confidence, it will take a lot of time to get that confidence. Okay, so okay, I think, I mean, this much question should be enough, should be enough. Okay, last one or two questions we will answer because time is already up. Is there any website where, okay, this is an answer question. Can we use other text editor of our choice? Yes, definitely. I mean, there is, no hard code rules, but uh, if you use VS Code, right? I mean, think like behind this ID, right? This ID is for everyone, not ju not just for uh, JavaScript engineer, PHP, Python, or whatever you are using. So Microsoft is behind this product. So there are dedicated engineers to work to make this VS Code super, uh, what we can say, super duper easy for developers. And not only easy, I mean, you should feel productive. So as we will 
learn about vs code in upcoming sessions right you will understand but still you are you know uh, comfortable with some different editor right then i mean it's up to you i mean no no what we get a hard feeling for that yeah so thanks all i mean almost all questions are answered and the one which are not answered right will be answered by alma battle team graduation is complete okay and this one is also answered by alma battle team yeah remaining all are answered any reference book for any reference book for the basic that can run parallel to this class i don't think you need any reference book there are actually yeah there is lots of content but it's on internet but it's scattered if you follow one particular discipline right like step 1 then step 2 then step 3 then step 4 that will help uh yeah so i mean as of now no more suggestion for any hard coded books or pdf from my side okay okay i think time is up so yeah here one more question is there will product companies be coming for again yeah this question will be answered by alma battle team yeah so let's uh, wind up this class okay and any remaining questions right in the q and a box will be answered by uh, alma battle team thank you everyone Mm, thanks kanchan thanks everyone uh, we will meet in the next session